Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make a cheap and simple radio control boat with a remote range up to 300 meters. We need a Chinese analog of an Arduino Uno board. I have a Jduino Uno. We also need a transmitter with four channels and a receiver with four relays and four channels, an SG90 servo, three 18650 batteries with cases, a motor, a plastic bottle for the boat's case, and a propeller. Use a plastic container to seal all the electronics. You will also need some wires and bolts. Attach the motor and the propeller to the plastic bottle with wires and bolts. There should be a gap of at least 10 centimeters between the propeller blades and the motor. I didn't have a bolt long enough, so I cut off the heads of some bolts and connected them with these couplers and locked it with nuts. Use a copper wire to fasten the motor like this. Use copper wire, not aluminum, because it's too soft for this. Connect the electrical circuit. Program the Arduino. Connect the Arduino to your PC with a USB cable like this. Download special software from the Arduino official webpage. There is a link for it in the video description section. If you're using a Chinese Arduino, you need to download the driver for it. You also need the code for it. The links for the driver and the code are in the video description section. The links for the transmitter and receiver sketches are in the video description section. Click on this arrow. Choose Save. Wait a little for the sketch to compile. When it's done, your Arduino will be ready. Screw a long bolt onto the receiver. The Arduino should be attached to the receiver with this bolt like this. R equals 300 ohm, receiver, motor, 12V battery, servo. Use only open type relay contacts. Assemble the check circuit. Connect the power. The Arduino is powered through a 5.5 millimeter power plug. Test the remote. The C button controls the motor. It's noisy. I'll deal with that later. The A button controls the LED light. The D button controls rotation. Too slow. Make it faster. Reverse. This is how it should look. You need to attach the servo, rotation system elements, and LED lights. The boat is ready. Attach the batteries to the container lid. It should all fit into the container neatly. Attach the LED lights with the wire. The rotation system works like this. The servo is connected to the wire and these two guiding elements. I made two changes. First, I made this hole for the rod higher because it was too low and water was getting into the boat through it. I made the rod longer so it could reach the water. 
Second, I added some plastic here to make the blade longer. And I made the second rotation part like this, because the boat could only turn one way with one rotation part. I glued some styrofoam to the bottom to increase the boat's buoyancy. Perform the final check of all signals before putting the boat on the water. The LED lights, the motor. Rotation. So, the boat floats steadily, the speed is nice, it can move back and forth as well as left and right. I'm satisfied with this project's outcome, and I plan to make another boat with one propeller and no bottles. If you enjoyed watching this video, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of interesting crafts and projects for you. See you! Move on.